Ladies and gentlemen, you beautiful, beautiful people, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. If you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be doing my Clash of Champions 2019 prediction videos. And before we get right into them, I'd just like to give a huge shout out to My Damn Toys. I watched his prediction video just before making this video. And down in the comments of the video, he let everyone know that the King of the Ring match between Baron Corbin and Chad Gable will not be pl taking place uh, this Sunday at the pay-per-view. It's actually going to be taking place during Raw. So that is something very interesting. So we don't have to worry about that match on the pay-per-view. But just thought I'd add this in to give a little uh, spoiler for uh, Monday Night Raw. I mean, obviously, uh, Baron Corbin is going to win. But other than that, I don't have much else to say. Let's just get straight into the prediction. All right, video. guys. On to the first match, the Cruiserweight Championship match. We have Drew Gulak, Lince Dorado, and C Humberto Carullo. Humberto Carullo, right? Uh, hopefully I said that right. I did this uh, part like 10 different times because I keep messing up his name because honestly, I've never heard of him. I never watched a single match until about five minutes ago because I wanted to see what he was all about because honestly, I had no idea about this match. I didn't know it was taking place because I don't keep up with the Cruiserweight matches. I know a lot of people say to keep up with them, but re really... Every time it's on, I'm just not interested. I know they have some great matches. You know, Drew Gulak, he's always great to watch. Uh, Lince Dorado, he's awesome. But honestly, I never watched uh, the other guy. And uh, I have to say, I'm very, very impressed. Now, I don't know how long he's been on the Cruiserweights before. Because like I said, um, I, I just do not keep up with it. But for this match, since I don't really keep up with it, I can't really give my thoughts on it. Really, I'm just going to say Drew Gulak retains. Because really, didn't he just win it like uh, two pay-per-views ago? And I feel like with the Cruiserweight title, Jay, they just really bounce it back and forth. Really, I wish uh, Tony Nese was still the champion because I am a big fan of Tony Nese. I did keep up with his matches, but, you know, he's obviously not the champion no more. And now I guess he, uh, Tony Nese and Drew Gulak are uh, something together from what I learned from the small clip I watched on YouTube or something. But uh, other than that, I'm going with Drew Gulak uh, to retain the title. match on the card is the Women's Tag Team Championship match with Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross going against Mandy Rosen. And Son Sonia Deville. Why can't I talk this video? It seems like every other video, like I can't talk. But uh, I do not have the Nikki Cross loose, which I really need to get that Nikki Cross loose because I think online she's only like $10 or something. I have a mint on card, but uh, it's just worth getting it loose because it is a really great figure. But for this match, really, I would love it if Mandy Rose and Sonia Deville uh, were to win the match because really, Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross together, for me, in my opinion, it doesn't really fit well. I just. Haven't been enjoying them as a tag team. I know it sounds weird because I love Alexa Bliss, but Alexa and Nikki Cross, I don't know. It, it just doesn't go with me. I just haven't been enjoying the the stuff they've been doing. I mean, uh, when they won the tag team champions, I was actually shocked. I'm, st I'm still shocked that they are the champions. Uh, but for this, I think Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville, they have, especially Mandy, I think she has gotten, she she has just been doing very well lately. I've, been, I've really been enjoying her. Sonya Deville, I've always liked since, NXT days and for some reason my brightness just went down on the phone uh but I I just I I don't really know I just want Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville to win so bad I know maybe because really since they just they just haven't been doing anything with the tag team champions and really Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville are the legit the only real women's tag team right I mean everyone else who is the I mean we haven't seen Asuka and Kyrie saying I don't know what they're up to well what was supposed to happen with them winning I don't know and isn't there like uh, in the Iconics but you know when uh the Iconics were champions they just never defended them so uh I don't know maybe if Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville were to retain which I am going to be picking them to to retain maybe we could finally get this thing going instead of not really doing anything with these champions because it has just been trash since the uh, since they brought them up really. Uh, but for this match, I'm gonna go with Sonya Deville and Mandy Ray uh, Mandy Rose to uh, capture All the right, next match on the card. We have the New Day, Biggie and Xavier Woods taking on the revival for the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Now this match I'm excited for because honestly, every time the New Day are in a match, it's great. Every time the Revival are in a match, it's great. Uh, and I don't know why I'm just gonna bring up the Usos even though. 
though they're not in it, even when the Usos, they're great. I mean, every time, it doesn't matter who they're against. It's always a great match. Uh, they always put on great performances, and I'm always entertained throughout the match. So, really, I'm, ex um, I'm excited for this match, even though it's nothing special. I guess we could say that. But every time the Revival wins the, uh, wins the Tag Team Champions, I always feel like they drop it, like, at the next pay-per-view or the next week on Raw or something. It's always something like that. Oh, Raw, I'm sorry. SmackDown, I should say. Uh, but for this match, I don't think the Revival are going to retain. I do think uh, the New Day uh, will retain the SmackDown. Did I just say I don't think the Revival are going to retain? I don't think the Revival are going to win. Uh, I think uh, the New Day are going to retain the titles. Uh, really, uh, I've uh, heard people saying that Randy Orton might get involved or Kofi Kingston, which obviously I don't think that is going to happen whatsoever. I think they're not going to get involved in this match at all. Uh, I don't know why people are saying that. To me, that just sounds a little bit strange. I, I, I don't know. Randy, possibly, but no, no. I don't even know why I said possibly. I don't see it happening at all. But for this match, I do see the New Day retaining. And hopefully, it is a really good match, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Next match on the card. Oh, and if you're wondering, I did put on the flashlight because I just realized it looks better than without the flash on. Uh, but next match on the card, it is the Raw Tag Team Championship match. Braun Strowman and Seth Rollins taking on Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, Bobby Roode, whatever you want to call him. Really, this match uh, makes absolutely no sense to me. I still don't understand. I'm going to take something from my damn toys. I still don't understand why Braun Strowman and Seth Rollins won the Tag Team Champions. I think that was pretty idiotic and stupid. Doesn't make sense at all. And then, of course, they're going to be in the main event uh, for the Universal Champion, and then they just threw together Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, which I feel, oh, he was Bobby Roode, then they switched him to Robert Roode when he had the mustache done a few weeks ago. They called him Bobby Roode again, but now they're calling him Robert Roode again, so uh, he's all over the place. Uh, but really, uh, they just th threw Dolph and uh, Robert together, which makes no sense to me. Uh, even though I love uh, Robert and Dolph, I think they're both very underrated. I think they should be. Uh, I think they should be treated better uh, than what they are. Especially Robert. I think he, he NXT champion, and then especially Dolph Ziggler too. I mean, he just loses every single match he's in. But for this match, I actually think uh, Bobby, Robert, and Dolph are gonna win. I think Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman they're gonna be uh, too interested in themselves. Uh, they're going to be watching each other closely. I think, obviously, like what happened on Raw, they're gonna uh, uh, they're gonna hit each other or accidentally or uh, in. Ac accidentally um and then they're just they're just gonna be mad at each other something's gonna happen during the match one of them's probably gonna walk away i, I could probably end up seeing it uh be braun walking away because he got mad at something and then stepped all, all alone then he ends up losing by some way probably by roll up pin or something but i i do, do see them drop the titles and then maybe we could make something interesting out of uh dolph ziggler and uh robert rude uh, with them as uh as the champion Champions, but yeah, we'll get more on to Braun and Seth later in the video. But for this match, I do see Dolph and Robert getting Next the match titles. on the card. We have AJ Styles taking on taking on Cedric Alexander for the United States Champion. Now, I do need to get another Cedric Alexander so I could have him loose because they have been pushing him like crazy the last few weeks, which I'm not mad about. I'm happy about Cedric Alexander. He's a great talent. He always puts on amazing matches no matter what match he's in, and he uh, he got the match because he pinned AJ Styles which was absolutely insane. I was not expecting him to pin AJ Styles at all. That was a huge shock. I'm happy for him. Uh, I, they're, I think they're just going to put on a great match. I'm going to take another thing from my damn toys saying that this could possibly be match of the night. And I hope it is match of the night because I think they're going to be doing some cool moves in that ring and I'm hyped for it. Now, do I see Cedric Alexander winning the title? No, I'm going to take another thing from my damn toys. I, I apologize if you're watching. I know you don't mind, but I, I, I'm just agreeing with you on a lot of things you mentioned in your prediction video. I, I do see the club, uh, Luke Gallows, uh, the OC, I should say, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson getting involved uh to help AJ uh retain his title and get the victory over Cedric Alexander. Do I see this being the last match between AJ and Seth uh, and Cedric Alexander? No, I think it's going to uh continue on a little bit longer, but for this match at Clash of Champions, I do see AJ Styles winning with the help of the OC. And I'm fine with that either way because AJ Styles, one of the greatest on the roster. So I'm not complaining with AJ Styles holding the Next championship. Next match on the card, we have Shinsuke Nakamura taking on The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. And honestly, I forgot Shinsuke was even the IC champion. I honestly forgot all about the IC championship because of how they just haven't been used. How long has it been since they actually been 
using it regularly. I feel like it's just been non-existent really i just think they just have not been caring about it at all which is sad because it's one of the main titles i think uh it should be universal wwe ic then united states but no they just they it's wwe they do this sometimes they just like forget about a title like it's nothing and then stuff like this happens matches you're like oh that's happening but uh i'm excited for this match too i you guys know i love the miz i've loved the miz for I've always, I've always loved The Miz. I just love his heel work, even though he's a face now, which I don't think ever should have happened. I think he should have stayed a heel till the end of his career. But, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm still going to like him no matter what. Shinsuke Nakamura, um, he's a great talent, even though he just doesn't get to do the things that he's allowed. I know we haven't... Oh, my God. I just... It feels like we just haven't seen him, even though he was on... Uh, uh, what was he on? SmackDown? And he got... Uh, uh, he got... Uh, uh, I think CN and The Miz bumped into him during the match. Really, I wish CN was in this match because I really would like to see CN hold a title because he is he is the man. I don't know why uh, the crowds uh, every time just don't give no reaction to him or just boom. It just boggles my mind. He's a fantastic talent. I mean, just watch him in NXT. Absolutely great. And on the main roster, he has some great matches, but people just don't see it in him, which is very sad to me. Uh, me and Dean talk about it all the time. Like, how are they booing him? I mean, it's just crazy, but... But uh, it's not about seeing it is about Shinsuke Nakamura and The Miz in this match. And to me, honestly, I think The Miz is going to retain because, uh, like I said, they just haven't been doing anything. And there's a, a thing flying on. Uh, oh, gee, there's a, a bug flying on um, uh, Miz. And if you're wondering, I'm in my garage. That's where I moved my new thing. I still haven't made the updated video on it yet, but I got to show you. So that's probably why there was a bug flying on him. Uh, but uh, really, I think I'm going to go with The Miz retaining because, they, like I said, they just haven't been doing anything with Shinsuke game the title and uh adding it to the Miz we could get some uh brilliant matches and maybe some open challenges again like he used to do um and it could be very exciting and hopefully they do that for him but overall if they let Shinsuke Nakamura win I just hope they actually let him have regular matches now on uh Smackdown uh but for this match I'm gonna say the Miz uh is gonna next match on the card we got Roman Reigns taking on Eric Rowan in a no disqualification match and to me this it was kind of interesting at first when they were doing the whole who oh who who attacked uh, Roman Reigns I was kind of interested at it but then when it turned to Eric Rowan of him doing it I like lost interest completely like uh why and then they have this little they're just little feud going on now it was Daniel Bryan then they ended up uh Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan started fighting because Daniel Bryan was like oh it's not yeah you you guys saw you guys watch it obviously if you're watching the prediction videos so you guys know but for this it just why that that's the just the question for me like why I'm I'm like I'm not interested in this match whatsoever it's a match that I don't really care about watching uh it could be interesting since it's a no dq match hopefully but for this i, I mean obviously we all know the winner it's going to be roman reigns i mean come on if eric rowan wins like that's just going to be a big scratch to the head like we got roman reigns the guy who's won world champions who beat the undertaker of wrestlemania to lose to eric rowan and it might sound crazy but i've seen people say that eric rowan are gonna win i'm like i mean it's wwe i know they do stupid things but if they were to let rowan be roman reigns i mean my God, I just don't know what's happening anymore. But uh, I obviously, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns winning. This is just a match I don't really care about seeing. If it was a normal match, I'd see it being about two minutes. But uh, no DQ match, I'd probably see it going 10, 10 to 12 minutes. And uh, Roman Reigns is obviously going to retain. So there you go. Roman Reigns re uh, retaining. Roman Reigns winning. Why do I keep saying retain? I'm messing right, up I can't this video. flash no more, uh, apparently, because my iPhone is too hot, which is strange to me because... Uh, this iPhone never did that as of yet, so I'm nervous. Uh, but let's go on to the next match. It is Charlotte Flair taking on Bayley for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, you know, two of the greatest women in WWE right now. Two of the great... What the... Jesus Christ! Okay, we're gonna leave that in. Okay, the background decided to have a little accident, so we're gonna have to fix that after the video. Uh, but, you know, two of the best wrestlers, Charlotte and Bayley on the main roster today. Um... Uh, Charlotte, she's always putting on great matches. Bailey, she's putting on great matches sometimes too. Uh, really, do I want to see Charlotte Flair hold the title again? Uh, it's hard to say because I like Charlotte, but I don't at the same time. Uh, Bailey, you know, it's kind of the same. I used to like her all the time, but now I'm like, uh, and okay. So it's it's just kind of hard to say, you know. Really, if 
if uh, Charlotte loses this match, who is Bailey going to go on to next? Uh, because obviously Sasha's against Becky Lynch, and we'll get onto that in a minute. Uh, but who would she face? You know, Ember Moon. She, she obviously beat now uh, when they had the match. I what was it this week uh, on SmackDown? Ember Moon lost, and I think they had a match at the last pay per view, I believe, and Ember Moon lost that too. So really, who else is left to go against? I mean. I honestly have no idea. So it's kind of hard because who will Bailey go against next? But then if Charlotte wins, obviously she could go against Bailey. Then they have more time to figure out something until uh, it moves to Fox and then uh, everything happens. So I don't know. I, I really don't know for this match. I d don't want to see Charlotte win, but I do, which is weird. But I do want to see Bailey win, and I don't. So this is kind of all over the place for me. But for this match, I'm just going to take the safe route and say Bailey wins. Uh, but, you know, Charlotte could win too. But for this, I'm just going to say Bailey because uh, ah, I don't really care. All right, next match, we got Sasha Banks taking on Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Championship. Now, for this match, I'm just going to go out and say it right away. I do think Sasha Banks is going to win the title. Uh, you know, Becky Lynch, she's had a lengthy reign so far. And Sasha Banks, we all know the stuff that happened. Really, I probably think that they made a deal to have Sasha Banks come back. Like, oh, if you come back, we'll we'll let you win the championship. One of the championships from either, of course, Bayley or Becky Lynch. But, but uh, I... I'd much rather have saw uh I'd much rather have seen uh Sasha versus uh Bailey because they had a great feud in NXT. I think we could have seen a great feud again, but this I guess kind of makes sense to me too. This could be a pretty good feud, but for this match, I really do think Sasha Banks is going to get the championship and and Becky Lynch's reign with it. You know, it's I, I think a lot of champions are changing tonight. I'm it's like I'm copying my damn toys so everything he said in this video. Uh, but uh but I I don't know. I think did he say Sasha? No, I thought he said Becky Lynch was going to reign. I, I I don't remember everything, but uh for this match, uh, not no really expl explanation except for what I said at the beginning I think they somehow made a deal you know the her and Bailey lost uh the match so that probably made her mad her losing a match uh but uh, uh for this match I'm just gonna say Sasha Banks wins and ends it and then it could be something interesting because I like Sasha as a heel uh, I think it, it, she, I think it could be something special. Uh, you know, she was a, she's always a great heel. I just and she's obviously a heel now uh, since she returned, which I'm enjoying so far. Hopefully, they keep it up and and have me invested in the future of this. But I'm sorry, this prediction video has just been absolutely terrible. You guys know how much I dislike making these. Next match on the card, we have Kofi Kingston taking on Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Now, this match. I guess you could say I'm mostly excited for this match because, uh, honestly, when they first announced that it was going to be Randy Orton, w when he won that big match, or what was it, like, uh, I don't even remember what the match was, but it was like all those uh, big main event guys were in it. And when when he won, I was like, uh, really? But then I kind of enjoyed uh, their match they had, and now I'm enjoying it even more, especially how they ended uh, SmackDown with Randy Orton and Kofi Kingston, how he jumped on him. I just thought it was a flashback from back in the day. I thought it was just absolutely amazing. And as you saw, Ray, uh, Kofi Kingston, he he was on top at the end of it. So I'm... I that's why I do think that Randy Orton is going to retain the title you know Kofi Kingston he's had a great reign so far you know not not the best reign I've been enjoying it and kind of not been enjoying it but more towards the enjoying it you know it's not like oh my god please end I'm like uh, you know I'm not I'm not mad if he wins I'm not I'm not mad if he loses uh but for this match I think it would be great you know I love heel Randy Orton I think it's amazing always and him as champion it could be amazing we could get some more beautiful matches but really uh, who who, who could Kofi Kingston go against next? I mean, uh, has he been? He hasn't been having a feud with anyone else, just like uh, with Charlotte and Bailey. I'm kind of in the same kind of boat right now, so I really don't know who to pick. But, but I kind of do. So that was kind of a lie. Uh, I think Randy Orton is gonna retain. Uh, retain. I I gotta just shut up in this video because I'm saying all the wrong words, and this video has just been absolutely terrible. Uh, but for the, I'm just gonna go ahead and say Randy Orton wins, and I, I'll be happy with it. I really will be. I think it would be something special if Randy Orton wins this match, and he is the new wwe champion so let's cross our fingers that happens but 
On to the now, last match. On to the last match. We got Braun Strowman taking on Seth Rollins for the Universal title. And I'm so happy this is the last prediction because I've been in here for like over 30 minutes and I'm soaking wet. I'm so sweaty. It is so hot in here. This was probably a bad mistake to put this out here and do this for the prediction videos. But uh, Braun Strowman versus Seth Rollins. Now, this match, uh, really, I'm not excited to see this match either. It's like, why again? Uh, like, I, I just... I just don't know. I'm not really excited for this match. You know, they're kind of pushing Braun Strowman like they were back in the day, uh, 2017, which uh, My Damn Toy said, which it doesn't seem like that long ago, but my God, I can't believe it was back then he was on top, which I think he should have been a universal champion back then. Uh, I was really... Uh, pushing for him back then saying come on win and then when he kept losing I was like oh my god what is this then he kind of went down on the card now he's kind of coming back up so are they gonna let him win the title really it wouldn't make sense to me as to like why even though I really haven't been enjoying this reign of uh, Seth Rollins as universal champion it hasn't been exciting to me it's kind of been like on the ass side in my opinion I just I don't know something about it just hasn't been excited like when he won I thought it was going to be much more exciting but I, I I don't know I just haven't been enjoying it but really if Braun was to win I guess I won't be mad but I'll kind of be like why I think if they want Braun to be champion if they're going to let him be champion I think have like maybe wait till the next pay-per-view have them have a little bit of a feud have them so so something happened during the tag team match of course like I said then uh th something happened during this match make it spicier Seth somehow retains then Braun says no or or maybe Braun turns heel which I kind of like to see or Seth turn heel I would like to see Seth heel turn too but I just don't think this is going to be the end of um of this uh feud going on I think it's going to last a little bit longer hopefully at the end Braun could possibly win and he well, oh, that's an airplane. I thought it was about to rain. I was like, what is that? Is that rain? Uh, but uh, hopefully at the end, Brian could win and we could feel the way we did back in 2017 with him. But guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You probably didn't because it has been terrible. Uh, let me know your predictions down in the comments below. I love each and every one of you and I'll see you guys next time.